So you've got carpal tunnel syndrome. You're waking up at night with numbness in your thumb, index, middle and radial side of your ring finger and palm. It may be the whole area or part. It just may be an index finger or middle finger or the thumb. You shake your hand to get relief. You may wake up once or twice or it may be almost impossible to sleep. As it gets worse, the waking at night reduces or can disappear and you get a constant tingling in your fingertips or your palm. So what do you do about it? If it's acute and you're just waking up at night, then you may simply want to wait because it may recover without any treatment. You may want to trial a wrist splint to hold your wrist extended so that you don't wake up at night. If you bend your wrist, you develop the numbness and the tingling. You may want to try an ultrasound controlled steroid injection, something I don't like, but if you're going to have steroid put in your carpal tunnel, do it under ultrasound control with somebody who's skilled at using ultrasound. Otherwise, you can inject the steroid into the nerve and irreparably damage the median nerve. All right, so we've tried all that, and surgery is what you need. It's either severe and you've got constant numbness, or you're waking at night and you simply can't get relief. Well, in my opinion, the best way of doing that is to use a technique called the supraretinacular endoscopic carpal tunnel release. This is a technique that I've developed because it lets me see all the anatomical structures when I do the operation. It's a form of endoscopic microsurgery. Nearly all the endoscopic carpal tunnel releases are done semi-blind or done from underneath the retinaculum and the instruments can damage the nerve or squash the nerve. So using this technique, I can divide your flexor retinaculum, release the contents of your carpal tunnel, see the anatomical variations, see your median nerve and all your flexor tendons. Now, you can also have the operation doing an open carpal tunnel release. This is an excellent operation. It involves a cut down the front of the palm, you divide the skin, the fat and the retinaculum and simply close the skin. So why would you want to have a super retinacular endoscopic carpal tunnel release as opposed to an open carpal tunnel release. One, it's a smaller cut. Two, you can't see the scar in nearly all, but not all cases. Three, the recovery and swelling is quicker. Four, it's important to know, it's important to know that both the open carpal tunnel release and the super retinacular carpal tunnel release will be approximately the same at three months. So what happens after your operation? Well, with the super retinacular endoscopic carpal tunnel release, you have a small band-aid on the wrist, you start exercises and therapy immediately after the operation. The operation can be done as a day case under local anaesthetic. We do this with a median nerve block using an ultrasound and blocking the skin with local anaesthetic and we can do not only one but both hands at the same time while you're awake and you leave hospital the same day. The sutures are removed at a week. If you have it done using the open carpal tunnel release, this again can be done under local anaesthetic and both can be done under local anaesthetic at the same day. You go home the same day, but you've got an incision in your palm and the sutures are removed at two weeks. There's more pain and more swelling after open carpal tunnel release. So what happens after that? At two weeks after the operation, in both procedures you get hardness and tenderness in your palm. We call that pillar pain. At six weeks, that is comfortable, but it can persist for three to six months. But in all cases, it will completely resolve. And in most cases, you'll be happy at six weeks. So in conclusion, what would I say? If you've got carpal tunnel, make sure it's carpal tunnel. Try the non-operative measures. If you're getting numbness during the day, you really need surgery. The earlier the surgery, the better before there's permanent damage to the nerve. If you're going to have it operated on, I'd recommend the super retinacular endoscopic carpal tunnel release for somebody who's skilled in that technique. I've developed the technique. It's a form of endoscopic microsurgery. You need to learn the technique to do it safely. If you're not going to have that technique, then I'd recommend open carpal tunnel release.